We, we actually service most of them with their lemonade. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, so you get all these lemonade stands going on back across Hidden Springs today. Yes. I, do you guys feel threatened the business here is going to go down to the mercantile? Oh, it's it's questionable what's going to happen, absolutely. <laughs> all right, I'm meteorologist Vin Crosby with the Weather Show on YouTube and out and about on clothesline cleaners today in Hidden Springs. And lemonade stands have popped up all over the place. Now, I just questioned the mercantile. We'll get their response because they're a little agitated that these guys are taking away business from them. You guys know you're taking business away from the mercantile with your lemonade? Yeah. So who, now what's your name? My, my name's Riley. Tyler. Avery. Shannon. Dutch. Anna. Awesome. And what's your name? Come on over here. Molly. Molly. Molly's the ringleader. She's in charge, right? <laughs> so what's going on with the lemonade stand? You got a sign there, and, and how much are you selling it for? 50 cents. And so if they come over, and, and what kind of lemonade do you have? Um, Just lemonade, any kind. Yeah. <laughs> Regular lemonade. How, how do you make it? Um, we made it with powder. <laughs> with powder. water and lemonade powder. And sugar, probably, yeah. And, and uh, how are sales today? Sales doing all right? Well, yeah. we just started, so we just started. we've we've yeah. sold about three, three glasses. Yeah. Well, two we, or three cups. We keep, yeah. me and her both bought our own cup of lemonade, and then there's one man who just bought some. So Awesome. Well, I think you're in a good location. Location is everything, and you guys caught my eye. Now, and I'll give me a big yell, lemonade. All right, and I'm going to try some now. Let's let's go over and let's try some. So I don't want to tip over my camera. Fifty. What is it? Fifty cents. What's your name? Dutch. See, Dutch, come over here. Dutch is going to be a good salesman someday. He didn't even. He didn't even. He just run right for the right for the sale. Fifty cents, man. Fork it over, right? All right, you guys. Are you guys good with math? Yeah. So what's fifty cents times ten? 500 cents, and what does that $5. mean? Five dollars. There you go. How about five dollars for the lemonade? Okay. Dutch just took it. You see him just suck that down like that? Dutch, you're going to be a heck of a salesman someday. All right. That's, uh, oh, this is my lemonade? Yeah. All right. Here's the taste test. Lemonade stand. Hidden Springs. Oh, that's good lemonade. You guys doing a good job. Good job. No, you guys can keep the change. That's all yours. Yeah, that's all yours. All right. Lemonade, great lemonade, Hidden Springs. Stop by, give these guys a little bit of help here. Uh, I think they're doing well. They even got a little cash register here, too. So um, I'm going to go and finish my uh, route because uh, I don't want to get fired from clothesline cleaners. Thanks, guys. All right, I'm meteorologist Vin Crosby with the Weather Show with Vin Crosby on YouTube. Hidden Springs, there are a lot of lemonade stands today. We talked to the mercantile. They are worried that business is going to be shut down. And by guys like these, young entrepreneurs, what's your name? My name is Zane Gammon. My name's Caleb Gammon. And Zane and Kale, I'm going to guess you're brothers. Yes. yes. Who's the oldest? I am by three years. What's that? I am by three years. Can you tell? <laughs> all right. So who's going to, now who's going to keep all the money? Um, we split it up. Awesome. Good job. All right. So when did you start this uh, venture? When did you think of this idea? We started Over here, you got to talk in the mic. We started about three years ago. Three years ago, planning for this lemonade stand. We've been doing it for about three years. Awesome. How much money do you bring in average? Um, The most we've ever brought in is $90. $90? What? It was on a Saturday, and pe there was lots of nice people around, so, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. What are you going to do with the money this go-around? Do you have any plans? Um, I'm probably going to save t for college. Save for college. What do you want to do when, when you go to college? Do you have any ideas what you want to be? I want to be a doctor. Doctor. Awesome. That's a good goal. How about you? Um, a 22 rifle, a shotgun, or I'm probably going to save up for college, and I want to be an engineer. I love these guys. These guys, what? what's that? Or a businessman. I think businessman would be a good thing for you. Yeah, I do too. $90 on a Saturday. I got like maybe five cents for mowing a lawn when I was a kid. I don't know about you, but things have changed here, definitely. All right, so how much you charge in here today? Um, the mediums are 50 cents and the larges are a dollar. 
awesome, awesome. Now, can I try one? Let's yeah. let's give a taste test. All right, go ahead. Let's let's get a taste test here. See how it's going. We have two different kinds of lemonades. We have the lemon's own. What's that? Newman's own, yeah. And then we have strawberry. The strawberry and lemon. Oh, I'll try the strawberry and lemon. Okay. That's what people are using. That's the popular one today. Strawberry and lemon, huh? All right, awesome, awesome. Oh, you even got ice out here in this hot hot temperature. How how wow. So why don't you come up over here? Yeah, I want to hear. Oh, let, let me watch, watch him in action here. Yeah, that's a good pour. You guys have been doing this for three years. You got it down down pat. Yeah. What's the hardest part about opening a lemonade stand? Um, probably setting up and it being so hot some days. Oh, really? Yeah. But hot's good for business, right? Yeah, especially since we're so short. It's yeah. kind of hard to stand yeah. up. So. Yeah. Okay. So you did this all yourself? Yes, we did. All this tent? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did. Oh, awesome, man. Good job. That's great. All right, here's a taste test. Oh, yeah. Yeah, life is good in Hidden Springs today, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's fun. Yeah, it's pretty fun doing this. Pretty fun. Awesome. What a memory from the kids over here, the, the brothers doing a great job. Um, let me make a donation here, okay? Why don't we do that? I'll pay, uh, how about $5 for that? All right. All right, there you go. Thank you. Five dollars for the lemonade. Thank you, guys. Good job in business. Hey, by the way, there are some um, um, other lemonade stands open today. Did you know that? No, I did not know that. No. There's one right up around the corner when they come in by the mercantile. That, uh, yeah. Some people do it by the pool, yeah. and uh, some people do it by there and the school. So. And you're okay with that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. They have just as much right as us. So. Yeah, that's right. Okay, but I don't think I'm gonna make ninety dollars in a day. That's no, pretty I don't impressive. Think so. you no. Guys, you guys are like the lemonade stand experts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, boys. Thanks so much. Or young men, I should say, businessmen, entrepreneurs, maybe a future doctor, maybe an, uh, an engineer, and and uh, I think businessmen are, are more likely. Thanks, guys, for being on the weather show with Vin Crosby. Okay. All right. Ah, I should have taken some of that lemonade for the road. Beautiful day for lemonade stands. Hot day today to find a nice tree and sit down underneath it, maybe behind or beside some nice flowers. Tremendous, tremendous. We are looking at triple-digit heat across much of the Treasure Valley. No big story there. But a little bit of a story is the temperatures that are going to come down a bit as we go into early next week. But the long-range models not being cooperative with replacing or keeping the heat at bay. I mean, it's going to come back is what I'm trying to say. Blame it on the heat. Uh, temperatures today skying. If you didn't see um, my show, the previous one before this one, watch it about the temperature soaring on the inside of a hot car. Look at this. This is the thermometer that sat in the car all day in this heat. Yes, <laughs> over 130 degrees almost 140 degrees inside the car. So dangerous heat. Uh, very little will survive in that type of heat at that long a time. Uh, children, young infants, uh, animals, all would perish in those conditions if left there uh, for several hours. It would be a very uh, de deadly uh, situation. So this is the dangerous part of the heat. I noticed a lot of folks out around the water, too, today. The Boise River is down. Isn't that great news? Um, people putting their feet in the water. Uh, but keep this in mind, there's a lot of debris down in that water and trees along the edge hanging on by a thread, some of them. So it won't take much for those roots to give way and for big trees to fall down. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, get out and enjoy the cool, refreshing water if you can. All right, the weather show uh, showing uh, pretty much a lot of fun activities as of late but there's another thing that the heat brings after all the moisture we had this past winter all the moisture that we uh, had going into spring now you have throw in the heat mold is a very big problem in this type of heat any water just a little bit down uh, underneath uh, the uh, underside of your your house um, that's where uh, the mold will start to form and spread. So you want to take preventive measures. Here, take a listen to an interview I did with Service Master Restore Meridian early on. This what you spring. do with the highest quality, you're in the Meridian store. What's your address here? It is 
2103 East Lanark here in Meridian, right off of Franklin and Locust Grove. Excellent, excellent. The yellow car with the blue, I see them all over the Treasure Valley and the vans. Business is actually good, um, but I think it's going to get a little better along the Boise River. There are a lot of homes right now with water all over the place. There's water, you know, in places we normally don't get water. Talk about the mold. Well, I, it's just the thing that people need to be conscientious about. The longer water sits, the more problems they're going to have. And so for us to uh, be able to get out and assess the situation before it hits the mold is less damage that will be done to the house and quicker we can get them dry out. So somebody sitting right there watching the video here on uh, the YouTube channel or wherever, and, and they're saying, oh, boy, I make do I have a mold problem? The earlier, the better. Absolutely. And if we have to uh, actually... Mold can be seen if it's on the wall, or mold could be behind the wall in the insulation or you know, on, on the framing itself. And so if we have to get in and do a demolition, we're going to have to pull that off until we can assess it from there and take care of the mold. And then repair, correct? Absolutely. That was a nice, that was wow. good. That's a YouTube blue, but that's going to go viral. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have a course coming up on mold specifically because you're an expert. You're a certified um, expert in training on mold, and you deal with all kinds of agents. And tell me a little bit about that, your course. Our CE class is on mold mitigation, and we uh, cater to insurance agents and adjusters who come in and want to learn more about how we do our job. And they get CE credits for doing that. It's a three-hour course. They come in from 12 to 3 uh, next Wednesday, and uh, we give them lunch, learn about mold, and... They get three credits. So do they go to um, your website to sign up for that? or They can go to our website to see the next courses that are, are coming up. We have them going all the way through November this year. Uh, but they can just call us directly. Yeah, my friend uh, Troy Hooper over there, give them a call because the mold could be a big problem uh, this time of the year. Even though it's hot outside and dry, the leftover moisture in the uh, ground underneath your house uh, could pose to be a problem. So have them come out, take a little inspection to see if you have a mold problem in this type of heat. All right, that's the weather show. It looks like we are going to get uh, temperatures around triple digits through the weekend, but as uh, the long-range forecast uh, will show, and I'll post that after this, uh, there'll be the very tail end of the video here. Um, the long-range forecast will show temperatures coming back down into the 90s, and you can catch that long-range forecast any time during the day. It runs 12 times, I think, top and bottom of the hour. Um, on 22.1, the digital dial in the Troja Valley. Hey, be sure to thank our sponsors, too. We just appreciate you as viewers. Please tell your friends and family, I need you. Thank you. Uh, heat advisories are up. Hey, big surprise, right? Temperatures between 100 and 106 degrees today in sections of Ada County, especially down towards Elmore County in the Mountain Home area. So dangerous heat. Uh, you do not want to leave people in vehicles or kids or dogs or pets, anything, because temperatures soar. We'll get up to 120, 130 degrees just like that in a car with closed windows uh, in this type of heat. All right, so this is the dangerous type of heat. If you're jogging, there's a lot of uh, outdoor recreationalists here. Make sure you drink lots of water. Heat cramps. The muscles will cramp up very quickly if you're not uh, really hydrated in this type of heat. Find the shade and definitely find some air conditioning in this type of heat. Even up in the mountains where it's beautiful as we wrap up this 4th of July week, hey, be sure to check out Alan Marsh Travel Center's boat show still going on right on till Saturday up there by the airport in McCall. Uh, ATVs, pontoon boats, great deals. Stop by, still some time for the uh, Alan Marsh 5th Annual Boat Show up in McCall. The mountains, uh, if you're out and about, again, take it slow. Get in the water if you can. Uh, find a pool. I know that a lot of community pools will be packed, but even there you're going to need a sunscreen and maybe a hat for guys who are, you know, hair follically challenged like myself here. Um, the sunscreen definitely plays a big role in helping you to stay cool. And also you want to stay away from dark clothing like this. You don't want to attract the heat. This will make it feel a little hotter and dark clothing. Um, little tips here and there, temperatures around 101 to maybe 106 as we go through the afternoon hours today and again during the day tomorrow. You can see in the long-range forecast, though, that uh, line, if you will, of extreme heat, temperatures in the triple digits, goes towards the east, and we fall back into the 90s.